Hey everyone, how you doing? Cooper Miller uh, here from Tupelo, Mississippi. I have a little place called Forklift Restaurant and we're here for Food and Wine Festival to represent the state. Was born in Mississippi, small town Amory, uh, a little bit south of uh, Tupelo. My culinary journey brought me to Atlanta and went to culinary school at Le Cordon Bleu and spent about a decade over here kind of honing my skills and uh, was blessed with a beautiful daughter. And at that point, we decided it was time to, to move back home. I didn't know my family was really into the culinary scene growing up. But as you get into things in life and I became a chef, my family began to tell me how my grandmother owned all the, the local restaurants around town in Amory growing up. And come to find out that uh, it was kind of in my DNA. Uh, the first picture of, a, of me as a baby was sitting in a saute pan in my parents' kitchen. I was kind of meant to do this, I feel like. But it was great to come back to Mississippi and be able to share my talents and kind of continue the tradition that my family had started decades ago that I even you know, had no idea about. It was really important to me to bring home that big city feel in that small town. It's not easy. Uh, everything in that restaurant we make from scratch. I mean, we don't make the ketchup and, and mayonnaise maybe, but outside of that, we're in there from 9 a.m. till 12 o'clock at night every single day, making sure that everything's from scratch, everything's fresh, and we're putting out the best product we possibly can. It was brunch today, which uh, chefs really have a, a real love-hate relationship with brunch shifts. Uh, chefs don't like getting up early in the morning. We did a play on bagel and lox, but we did a beet cured salmon with uh, salt and sugar and beet cured on top. So it kind of did this really cool uh, stained glass effect to the salmon. Then we did smoked trout roe, we did the crispy capers, the red onion, the uh, bagel chips, the micro beets, and the whipped cream cheese. So very classic kind of uh, flavors, kind of deconstructed and, and broken down and kind of put a little forklift twist on it. It's been an up and down career for me. I've had a lot of highs, a lot of lows, but you know, with anything in life, you just gotta keep pushing, you know? Uh, things not always, aren't always gonna go your way. Things aren't always gonna be perfect, um, but you find what you do. If you love it, you, you, you push on and you figure it out, man. Like, I know my wife would much rather me do something else. The crazy hours, like, I mean, She's asked me to quit so many times, but I found my joy and what I want to do. And so she just got to deal with it. <laughs> and so does everybody else. Cause I ain't going nowhere. Uh, it won't be long before this old body won't let me do it anymore. But as long as I can, I'm gonna keep pushing.